Hello and welcome to the College of Information Sciences and Technologies uh, recording version of our accepted student program. I understand that this is definitely a unique way to have an accepted student program and I share in your disappointment that we aren't able to do this together, but this really is a true case for why it is so important to have students and uh, workers who are skilled in technology. I want you to kind of think about this situation from a viewpoint of all of our majors. For our data science students examining the coronavirus, there are hundreds of ways that we can collect, analyze, interpret, and come up with actionable steps about uh, data concerning the virus. It could be spread, it could be projection, it could be economic impact. So data science students and professionals are incredibly needed during this time of need. Our information sciences and technology major students really are going to be the ones making sure that businesses and organizations are set up for success if they have to ever move to a telecommuting situation like we all are right now um, to make sure that the infrastructure is there um, that people have the tech needs to be able to do their jobs um, from their home same with our human center uh, design and development um, if you think about all the software we utilize, things like Zoom, um, I'm offering virtual appointments through Calendly. We all want to use software that our end users, you, our families, and our students, find easily accessible, easy to use, almost making it a seamless transition to be able to connect with us. So it's all about understanding the users and developing technology to help meet their needs. For our cybersecurity students, as individuals move to a telecommuting uh, practice, we have to make sure that we're still um, engaging in technology and safe ways to keep our information secure. For our security and risk analysis students, um, it's all about understanding the risk and coming up with uh, mitigating strategies to overcome those risks, um, making those tough decisions of um, do businesses and organizations close or do they continue to operate um, assuming that they could uh, undergo a certain amount of risk. So all of these majors come together. You can kind of see this in this situ situation and how important it is. Um, so as we continue to uh, progress, um, kind of look at it from a technology standpoint and see how your interests and passions uh, could play in uh, future events like this. I do want to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Allie Ellison and I'm the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Recruiting here at the College of IST. Um, do just kind of want to um, say that, again, I know that this is a unique situation. And so we have worked really hard to create some uh, additional opportunities to help you connect with us to make sure that you're getting all of your questions answered, whether you have accepted your offer and you have questions about next steps in transitioning from high school to college, um, or if you're still in that college decision-making process. Um, so please feel free to make a virtual appointment with me. I have extended my hours um, and evenings and also weekends to make sure that we are being uh, available for you and your families. Um, so you can email us at futurestudents at ist.psu.edu and I can give you my calendar link uh, to easily schedule that appointment. We also will be hosting some virtual uh, panels with our, our current students and some of our staff members like careers advising and student engagement. Um, we do have uh, currently one uh, virtual panel set up, so please um, email me if you are interested in attending and I can send you the registration link. I also want to point you in the direction of our video tour. So if you visit our website, go to prospective students, undergraduate and our visit page, um, there's uh, additional information, but we also have a video tour that you can watch and hear from some of our students, not only in the majors, but also learn about out of classroom experiences. So we'll jump in and talk about what's next. I uh, do want to highlight that the uh, admission deadline is going to be May 1, and here are just some important resources and websites for you to be able to connect with in order to take those next steps. Um, in addition to the admission uh, deadline, we do have our deadline for housing. Um, so please be sure that you connect with those offices if you have any questions um, about the process to either accept your 
uh, offer of admission or to put down your housing deposit. We do have new student orientation uh, coming up, so uh, you will be sent an invite to take your Alex exam assessment. And once you do that, you'll be able to uh, attend our new student orientation. Um, it's really a fantastic opportunity for you to kind of get a little bit of a taste about what it's like to be a student at Penn State. You'll stay uh, in the residence hall. You'll get your Penn State ID. You'll learn about different services and programs. And then on that um, second day, you'll be able to connect with one of our IST advisors. When you connect with your advisor, they'll teach you how to use um, some pretty important programming when it comes to scheduling your courses. Um, but they'll also connect with you, get to know what you want to do, what your educational goals are, what you think your intended major is gonna be, and then they'll work uh, with you to create that schedule. Our LEAP program is a unique summer program that is available to our students who are interested in starting in the summer. Uh, University Park is pretty different in the summer compared to our fall and spring semesters. Uh, so it definitely has a much quieter feel to it. Uh, the classrooms are going to be very small. You'll be able to really connect with your professors, uh, your cohort or peers that would be joining you. Um, and it really is a fantastic opportunity and makes that transition from high school to college a little bit uh, slower um, and really gets gives you the chance to uh, get your feel for the campus. So registration opens Monday, March 6th at 6 p.m. Um, it is first come, first serve. Um, so be sure that you um, sign up early if you are interested in participating in the LEAP program. I do want to talk a little bit about the classes that are offered uh, specifically for IST. Um, we have Cyber 100, um, which is really an introductory uh, university level course in computer systems literacy. You'll get to uh, explore the history, architecture, and operation of computing systems and the underlying computing theory. You'll also gain important uh, information technology fundamental skills and really start building the blocks for the cybersecurity analytics and operations curriculum. For IST 110, Information, People, and Technology, um, this is really a great course. If you are unsure which major within the uh, College of IST that you want to explore, our professors do a fantastic job of highlighting and pulling um, from some key uh, skill sets and, and knowledge domains for each of those. But this class really will address major questions such as how can we use technology to organize and integrate human enterprises? How can technology help people and organizations adapt rap rapidly and creatively? Um, we're definitely all feeling that for sure right now. What can we do about information overload? And what is the individual role in privacy and security? So again, touching on quite a few of those uh, major and their key topics. For uh, security and risk analysis, um, you'll be taking 111 and this course relates to security from the context of the individual organizational and national perspectives to the SRA major. In addition to storage access and connectivity risks, this course will also address legal and ethical issues, criminal and terrorist exploitation and global information warfare and intelligence threats. Uh, so if you are interested in either cyber information um, sciences and technology, um, or SRA, these are definitely great courses for you. If you're interested in um, human-centered design and development, I would encourage you to look into information sciences and technology. And for students who are interested in data sciences, there is an entrance to major requirement, which means that you have to take this course um, in order to um, progress further down uh, the curriculum path. Uh, we encourage our data science students to take um, their entrance to major recourse, which is CompSci 131, and that is the Programming and Computation 1 uh, Fundamentals. Um, so definitely take a look at that, and that will be sure to count towards uh, your academic plan. One of the many questions that we receive is, what kind of technology am I going to need? Uh, so I uh, worked um, on sending out some of our ASP packets um, in the mail for you. And so you should be getting these soon. This should be included in that packet. So you can either screenshot this or um, wait and look into your packet. 
But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us um, or our help desk. And their email is helpdesk at ist.psu.edu. So for those who are still um, in the process of making their college decision, you're probably wondering why should I come to the College of IST? And that's definitely a great question. I do encourage you to um, watch one of the videos on the video tour called Why IST. Our students really um, talk a lot about why this college means so much to them and how it has helped them in their academic career. But I'll quickly summarize um, some of their points. Um, so the College of IST is that really perfect integration between a wide variety of disciplines. We give you the te technical skills that you need to be successful in your career, but we also bring in things like computer science, business, psychology, sociology, and it is this wonderful mix of information, people, and technology that many of our businesses and organizations are looking for. Uh, a lot of our students will say they are the uh, key translator between some of the more technical work that happens at businesses and the users that are actually utilizing that technology. Our faculty, um, some of our faculty have uh, worked in the field. They are called professors of practice, so they are not only uh, bringing you that kind of academic structure, but they are bringing a rich um, professional experience into the classroom that our students really love and appreciate. Also, our classes, no matter which major that you pursue, is heavily focused around team projects um, and, and teamwork. Um, so about 70 to 80% of that coursework is project-based group learning. Um, our professors are very passionate about making sure that they're teaching you the important skills and knowledge, but making sure that you have an opportunity to actually apply those skills in a real world scenario. Um, many of our students uh, love this type of work because they feel like it's kind of hard to memorize and practice and have that knowledge um, just to spit it back out on a test. So through the application, they're actually learning um, at a deeper level and they really love and appreciate that. This also reflects how um, you will work in the workforce. Um, many of our uh, corporate partners will, um, you know, have group projects and they expect um, their new hires to be able to jump into those scenarios and be able to contribute as a team member. So it's really vital for you to be able to prepare for that in that transition um, from backpack to briefcase. Uh, next, our curriculum is really tied to industry demand, and so we'll talk a little bit about our careers later on in the presentation, but definitely keep that in mind um, because that is the reason why you're here at college is to get those skills um, and knowledge in order to um, secure a, a high outcome position. So we'll go ahead and jump into careers. ISC has its very own um, career team here that supports all of our students. So this is a picture of uh, one of our IST career fairs. We have two IST career fairs a year, and these are only for IST students. Um, we actually had to move to the Nittany Lion Inn uh, because we ran out of space at, uh, at our Westgate building. We have anywhere between 60 and 80 companies who come specifically to recruit our IST students. Um, many of the recruiters will bring uh, Penn State graduates. And so it's a really good conversation starter. And you know that you're talking to someone who has been in your shoes, uh, perhaps not that long ago. Our career solutions team also helps with um, job and internship postings. They do career coaching. They'll review your resume and make sure that it's um, in order for these career fairs and these different networking opportunities. They offer professional development, a wide variety of networking opportunities. Um, in the fall of 2019 alone, they had planned 50 different events that brought companies um, together and um, with our students in order to be able to start building those um, connections and relationships with recruiters. And of course, they all offer individual appointments. So 100% of our students complete an internship before graduation, and that's because it is required for graduation. Um, so our Career Solutions team works really hard with our students to make sure that they are meeting that requirement. 
The average starting salary uh, for a bachelor's degree uh, in the College of IST across all of our majors is $68,000. And we have over 300 companies who are actively recruiting our IST students throughout the year. And so you can check out our career solutions page on our website and we have an entire list of uh, our corporate partners that you can kind of take a look at. And that spans from, um, you know, for profit organizations, nonprofit organizations and even government positions. Going back to internships, 50% of our students do complete multiple internships. Um, and that is because the, the spots are open. Uh, there's plenty of opportunities and so our students are able to secure multiple internships and it helps them identify what they really want to do in their careers. And this is really impressive and um, I love being able to talk to seniors who have just gotten back from their summer internship um, who have secured a full-time position. Um, so 84% of our students receive a job offer from their internship provider. We have a very large and active um, Penn State Alumni Association, and this definitely you know, helps as students are looking for different careers. As I said, we do have uh, recruiters from different companies and agencies who come back uh, with Penn State alum in order to kind of be able to bridge that gap between student and company. Um, so it's always helpful to be able to, you know, either go to different alumni networking events for current students or even connect on LinkedIn with some of our alum. We have academic advisors who are professional academic advisors. That means that they are in the office from eight to five um, every day, Monday through Friday. They aren't faculty, so they're not off teaching. Um, they're here to connect with our students to uh, build relationships with our students and make sure that they are staying on track for graduation. Um, so they offer individual appointments, drop-in appointments. Um, they are really your go-to person to make sure that you're progressing um, and, and staying on track for graduation, to make sure that you're completing all of your entrance and major requirements. They can run degree audits for you, which helps you, again, make sure that you're completing every um, requirement that you need to do for graduation help you do um, course substitutions, and really is that um, guiding uh, person to help you make informed decisions regarding your academic planning. So obviously layers of support is very important to us at the College of IST. We are a small college um, with a tight um, knit community feel and um, a deep uh, level of support for all of our students professionally, but we also have students who help our students. So we have a very robust tutoring and learning assistant program. Tutoring is peer tutoring and is offered at the Westgate building uh, two nights a week, and they are always there to help support our students. I know quite a few students who will just go and do their homework during those hours, and if they need help and need to talk to someone, a tutor is there to provide assistance. We also have learning assistants. So in the classroom, of course, you have your faculty member who is your expert, um, but we also have um, a team of students in the room with you um, to provide that additional layer of support. Learning assistants um, are upperclassmen who have taken that course, received an A in it, typically have worked with that professor, so they have that rapport, and they are an extra set of hands to the professor. Um, they'll be in the class with you, they can circle around and help you through group projects, um, you know, answer your questions. And much like our uh, faculty, they do offer office hours as well. If you are the type of student who really loves to kind of work with other students to teach, um, this is definitely something you should look into. Uh, the first time that learning assistants are in the classroom, they receive an extra, um, extra credits for that. But moving forward after that, they actually have um, a, a stipend and it is a paid position. Um, so it's an extra way for students to also uh, get some extra cash. Next is inclusion and diversity. Uh, this is incredibly important to us, not only uh, at the College of IST, but in the tech field in general. Um, our inclusion and diversity team uh, works to create a welcoming and equitable environment. They foster personal and professional growth for our students. They provide the college with diversity and inclusion programming. They work hard to create cultural awareness and understanding 
and they are really preparing our students for leadership in the global community. And that is so important, especially in IST. The technology field is a global community. Technology helps us connect in, to all countries, to all workers. And so it's really important for our students to begin having that uh, frame of mind. This team also offers uh, individual appointments to our students and um, please you know, continue to take advantage of that um, resource if you're a student here. Next, we have Penn State World Campus. So we do tend to get a lot of questions about um, our on-campus students and how many online courses they would be required to take if you know, spots fill up. And the answer is, if you are a resident student here at UP, you are most likely going to be taking resident courses. Um, there are a few instances in which students have opted to take World Campus courses. Uh, we had one student, Alex, who interned with the recruitment office. He wanted to take World Campus courses um, because it gave him flexibility in his schedule to do some undergraduate research with some faculty, to take some graduate level courses that he was interested in, and it just gave him a little bit more freedom to do those things. We also have some students who have um, had either personal or health issues that have opted to, um, instead of take a semester off and end up behind, to switch to World Campus courses in order to allow them to be able to take care of themselves and still stay on track for graduation. So um, definitely all things to keep in mind as you think about um, what kind of educational experience you're looking for. And your advisors would be able to help um, guide you in those, those moves and decisions. Lastly, we are one college, but we have infinite opportunities. Um, of course, in that top left-hand corner, we have a student who is um, skydiving. Uh, I believe she is in Amsterdam uh, doing a study abroad program. Uh, our global programs at Penn State is far and uh, wide-reaching, so um, no matter which country you're interested in exploring, there should be a program available for you. There's also, of course, THON. Um, THON is a 46-hour dance marathon to help raise um, essential monies uh, for pediatric cancer research. Of course, if you're not up for dancing for 46 hours straight, um, there are so many ways for students to participate. We have many of our students who work hard on the tech team in order to get everything up and running from live streaming the event to um, all the tech needs. We have some unique networking opportunities that our Career Solutions team hosts. Um, I showed you some pictures of our career fairs, but they also go on the road. So they'll take students on day trips to um, cities that are close by to State College, so Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Baltimore, New York City, um, Washington, DC, in order to network with companies. Um, so students can get a behind the scenes look at some um, tech startups and larger uh, tech companies. Down below in the middle, uh, bottom row is our student engagement fair. We have over 17 uh, student organizations at the College of IST, but of course there's um, thousands at Penn State. So lots of exciting ways to get involved. And many of our students, um, number one advice to our incoming students is to get involved. Uh, this gives you the opportunity to grow your social network, make friends, but also apply what you're learning in the classroom in unique ways. Uh, and it looks fantastic on a resume. In the bottom uh, right hand corner is another travel opportunity that is um, hosted through Women in IST Student Organization. Uh, this is uh, the Grace Hopper Celebration, which is the world's largest gathering of women in technology. And so uh, we uh, take a group of uh, female students to uh, that conference in order to network with other women in the tech field. Those travel opportunities that I talked about, the day trips, um, Grace Hopper Celebration, um, is in addition to a program that we have here at the College of IST called Alternative Spring Break. This is specific, specifically for first year students. And much like the day trip, uh, our career solutions team takes our students um, on the road to a different city, um, somewhere in the part of our country. Um, they've been to uh, Seattle, California, um, Raleigh, and Austin, Texas. And again, this is a week-long opportunity over spring break for students to connect with a wide variety of different companies, 
um, and examine their tech needs and, and explore what it would be like uh, to, to work in that environment. All those travel opportunities, the day trips, Grace Hopper and Alternative Stream Break are paid for uh, by the college. Um, we want to make sure that our students are getting a wide variety of experiences to help guide them uh, through their four-year journey at the College of IST. So I'm starting to lose my voice. Um, I, again, recognize that this is a unique way to have an accepted student program, um, but I do encourage you to make those virtual appointments to connect with us in that virtual panel to ask questions to our students um, to make sure that you are getting the level of support that you need in order to make the best decision for you. So reach out to us at futurestudents at ist.psu. Um, that email goes right to me and we can take steps in order to connect. So thank you again. Uh, I hope to be able to connect with you soon and um, be safe and be healthy.